Asif bin Saleh Alawi, welcome to WPC TV. You are an ambassador, a roving ambassador, ambassador at large for His Majesty the King of Morocco. Uh, and you're going to be talking about the state of the world. So let me narrow that down. What do you think the state of the world with President Trump is at the moment? Well, actually, you know, this wrap-up session is a real challenge, as you know, because you really have to say in eight minutes almost what has been said across, you know, the conference for three days. Uh, it seems to me that among the big trends I was just mentioning, you know, the uncertainties of the world and the extreme speed are the two main challenges for global governance. And I think that Mr. Trump's behavior is not helping. On the contrary, it's making worse. And so global governance has to face these challenges because he's trying, you know, to lessen down the role of the federal state within. Yeah. And uh, trying to undo, not trying, he's undoing, you know, the trade uh, agreements with his partners, NAFTA and with so NAFTA, forth. NAFTA, with he Korea, has, as you know, released it. Asia. And the partners, from what we heard or across the conference, are extremely worried about this because the impact is huge not only within America, but as well outside, for Korea, for Canada, for Mexico, it's even worse. So the developing countries are really worried. We don't, there is no lisibility. But one assumes that um, Trump, President Trump will not see it that way and will say, well, it's America first, make America great again. How will this policy of his actually affect Americans? Well, I suppose that Americans are really not happy about this state. We can see it, you know, from sort of rebellion and the caricature that are really mushrooming across America, you know, because beyond the slogan, how can you make America again while you are shrinking it? Yes. This is a real paradox. And he's not aware, you know, of that because he just wants to have it his own way. When he wants, you know, to denounce the treaties, he wants bigger stakes for America and bigger roles for America, but it just shows that he is not accustomed to bargaining and to, to diplomatic bargaining. This is not business. You cannot have it. The Do winner you, doesn't take it all. Well, a final question then. Uh, I mean, people talk about the adults in the room, i.e. the generals and Mnuchin and, and uh, Tillerson and so on. Um, is there ability to I'm not, say, not, not sure if control is the right way, word, but to um, influence Donald Trump likely to last, or do you foresee things getting worse from an external point of view? Well, I think it's very difficult for an outsider. You know, you know, American politics are always extremely delicate because you always have the competition within and between the administrations and between the Pentagon and the State Department and so forth and National Security Council, too many actors. And normally the president has to listen to everybody and then he takes the trade-offs and he makes decisions and he is the one who has the final say. But now he just wants to have the final say on his own, on sometimes not even on Twitter, which is really absolutely incredible. How can you, in 140 words, explain the complexity? And I should say even the over complexity of the world. Do you think he will learn? I have no idea, you know, how the things is going, you know, to evolve. Because unfortunately, my fear is that there will be a whole change in whole of the American approach. And that even if he disappears from the scene, there are some of the behaviors which might still be with us. And this is very frightening. We have a frightening and challenging environment ahead of us. <laughs> Lisa bin Saleh Alawi, thank you very much indeed. Well, thank you.